Hey there YouTube, France Hopper here. It is Friday, April 23rd, and it is time for another Mito in a Box. This one brings us to the double digits. Let's see what's inside. Alright, so let's take a look at what is inside Volume 10 Deluxe. The theme for this month, I believe, is Secret Study System. So, I honestly have no idea how much mileage I'll get out of this, because I haven't been in university for several years now. But, here is a look at what's inside of the Standard Edition. Here's a look at what's inside the Deluxe Edition, and as always, I'll leave a scanned copy of these in the description, but I'm also pretty sure that Kino Kunia also has a unveiling on their website already with the same information, so I'll drop a link to that too. And uh, let's see what we have. So, this month's free goodies. We'll start with opening those in just a sec. These look like some of the deluxe items. And I believe these are the standard items. So, let me move things aside, and we'll take a look at the extras for this month to start off. Be right back. Alright, extra goodies this month are pretty simple. We just have three of them. First off, we have some 0.5B lead from Pentel. The ink of the month is from Pilot. It's an Iro Shizuku Chikurin, which looks like kind of a nice lime color. Very spring, that. And then we have these. These are actually kind of neat. I had these when I was in university. What these are is these are note cards, and you have a sort of green lens and a red lens on the back, and what you can do is you can highlight what you want to blank out, and then you use the lens to blank out whatever you have. So, nifty little note cards. Let's see what we have in the standard edition next. All right, so here's everything that's in the standard edition of Volume 10. If you need a good variety of writing utensils, this definitely looks like a good volume to consider. First off, from Pilot, we have the Hitech C Coletto Multifunction Pen. So it comes with just the shell, and then you have these three refill inks off to the side here. I like how they're all different colors and different weights so that you can kind of, you know, see what color you like and uh, how thick you like it. I love these multi-utility pens that Japan just keeps pumping out. Some of these are really cool. Also from Pilot, we have a furry furry, or uh, yeah, mechanical pencil. And this is interesting because you click it out to extend the little nib and then if you shake it, the graphite starts to come out. So that's cool. I haven't seen that before. Next up, from Oto, we have a Fude Ball 1.5mm pen, or pen. This is definitely the thickest nib I've ever seen on a pen. And the reason for that is this is a roller ball that's supposed to write like a brush pen. So, that's actually kind of cool. Next up, we have three items from Zebra. The first item is the Just Fit Mo Genie Line Highlighter. It's a highlighter that looks like a very bright green and supposedly doesn't smear. We have a Sarasa Mark On 0.4 millimeter gel pen. And then finally, we have this very interesting pen. It's a very bright red, and it's a Zebra Fortia pen, which is an emulsion ink pen. I've never heard of that. This is definitely very nicely weighted, and that's what it looks like. Very cool. Next up from Clothes Pin, we have an A5 notebook. This is a nice feeling notebook. It's a pretty simple lined notebook, but a very summer cover there. Or spring summer. Wonder if that's yuzu or lemon. And then finally, from Pepper Tigre, we have a pocket mesh uh, pouch, which looks like it would very nicely fit everything in there. So, 
let me move these aside and we'll take a look at what you get in the deluxe edition next. Alright, and here we have everything that comes in the deluxe edition. First off from Pilot, we have some Frixion erasable pens. It's uh, ink that if you, you know, heat it up with friction will erase. Kind of wish this was around when I was in my elementary school days because we had erasable pens, but uh, they really weren't very good when you took the eraser to them. So those probably, hopefully, would work a lot better. Next up, we have what looks like just a, you know, pretty plain notebook, but um, reading the card and, and the story behind this notebook is actually quite interesting. This is a flat notebook from Nakamura in Satsujo, which apparently is just a small little print shop in uh, Tokyo. And apparently, this notebook is what saved the company in 2016. So, yeah, very interesting story behind that, actually. I, I was not expecting that, so that's really cool. Next up, from Kanmido, we have some clip little sticky notes. It's basically like... Oh, man, I'm going to date myself here, but uh, back in the day when you carried a lot of cash around, we had things called money clips. And this kind of reminds me of one where it's a clip that you can stick onto a notebook, and then we have these pop-up little sticky notes. Um, we had these back in my day too, but they were not nearly as fancy or nice looking, so very cool. After that, from Mindwave, we have a to-do list marker. I believe it was a random variety of whatever you got in the Deluxe Edition, but that's a nice little notepad. And then, to wrap things up, from High Tide, we have a metal book stand. This uh, assembles into being able to hold an entire book upright, you know, with the pages. I don't have any room on uh, my desk for this, but I can definitely see me getting some use out of that in the kitchen when I need to use a recipe book. So. There you have it. That is everything in Mito in a Box, Volume 10. Thanks so much as watching, for watching, and as always, in the description, I'll leave a link down to the card with all the information on everything. That'll be it.